Hello, why do I stand with uh, Turkey, apparently, in this Greek-Turkey dispute over many things? First of all, I'm sorry to say that, in spite of the fact that I do speak Greek and quite fluently, what I said is just evidence of the fact that I do speak Greek. And uh, I have developed a feeling that Greek, for some reason, they feel like they are different from other people. They are somewhat superior, a kind of Jewish attitude. Uh, that they are the chosen people, the chosen pop, without implying uh, a god, obviously, but in a way they stand on the laurels that they got two and a half millennia ago. And I do not think that uh, after so much time, present Greek people are in any shape or form superior to other to people from other countries. Every country has their own language, their own people, and I don't say um, race-wise, Italy and Greece and also Turkey are very mixed. Uh, for the most part we are mm, Westerners, also Turkish people that uh, Greek people many many times called, called Mongols. First of all, if I were a Mongol I would be very insulted by this um, adjective used as an insult toward, towards a um, country that you want to demean and disparage. Uh, and I find that very stupid. Other thing, uh, I find very stupid that this kind of insults are condoned by the Greek people because I see no other Greek person saying speak for yourself, I'm not a racist, we have some problems, but that doesn't involve insulting every person from that country because these are people like us. And they are! Not only they are people like Greek people, they share a lot of words, they share food, I can tell you that most of recipes of Greek cuisine are shared by Turkish people. Actually, most of them come from Turkey. A lot of music is, is very similar. So, I can tell that because I'm learning Turkish as well. They are, these two countries are closer than Italy and Greece, the only thing we have in common with Greece, really, is religion, and not exactly the same religion, because here Italians are, for the most part, Catholic, Catholic and they're Orthodox. And many Orthodox dislike, in a very strong way, the Pope and the Catholic religion. And I know how opinionated and stubborn and high-minded Greek can be. So why did I learn Greek? Okay, I didn't know that when I started it, and I like the language. I like food, and so for the transitive law, I like also Turkish food, which is very similar, not exactly the same thing, but there's a lot in common. For some reason, Greek can hold grudges for centuries, okay? So, after losing a war with Turkey, that they started in 1919, and they suffered dire consequences, I don't condone uh, Turkish massacres, I'm only seeing the big picture, and uh, also Greek people, uh, in a minor way, but they killed um, first Turkish people when they tried to conquer the Turkish coast and, and Smyrna. 
So nobody is like pure and innocent. And uh, I had better um, dealing with Turkish people than with Greek people. I can say I had more dealings with the uh, Greek people because of the fact that I speak the language fluently. I cannot say the same for Turkish for the time being. In two years I will speak quite well. But uh, So I many times quarreled with Greek people they speak about things they don't know, they don't listen to you, and they have lost completely the philosophical uh, doubts and the philosophical approach of the ancient Greeks. So they are, in a way, they don't want to admit it, but they are very different, and I don't know, maybe it's the Turkish influence, maybe they became, I don't know what happened, but it really they are far cry from and even all ancient Greeks we see also the all we know the best part of it but they were people like we are and I think that uh, nobody's pure and innocent Romans ancient Romans killed people uh, they killed people in Jerusalem for the most part and they crucified uh, adversaries and criminals there were not Romans from their point of view criminals and it's a very very bad way of dying being crucified it's a very cruel way of dying Turkish people committed bad things and we know about the Albanians and what happens in the in uh, Smyrna oh uh, they didn't do that like Germans just for the hell of it. There were problems with Greek, there were problems with Armenians, there were, um, in a way, really, um, their enemy and a problem. Surely you don't kill all the people that pose a problem to you, but they didn't do that. like Germans. I mean, what, what was the problem with Jewish people in Germany? No problem. We're speaking about the country that attacked you in your mainland because the coast of uh, Turkey are considered and they are Turkish. They've been Turkish for 500 years so de facto is Turkey. It's not Greece anymore. Okay, it's like Greek people want to get back uh, our coast of coast uh, of Italy because there were Greek people and there are some villages where they still all their they used to speak Greek. That doesn't make any sense at all. You don't do that. We didn't attack Corsica where they speak Italian. We didn't attack uh, Nizza because it was Italian. These things should not happen. There was a treaty, the Lausanne Treaty, that keep, kept these two countries from fighting anymore. And this has been working for 100 years. And now Greece want to extend their territorial waters, saying the new rule. There was a treaty. This treaty was done because the uh, geological and geographical situation of Greece is having many many little islands um, and if every little island has 12 uh, maritime miles, sea miles, they would um, keep Turkish people from, Turkish ships from, you know, they keep all Turkish uh, ships at bay and since Turkey is a very big state it would give uh, an edge to Greece um, Greek people do that on the Italian side we are Italians we know our government doesn't give a shit about protecting our um, 
interests. I don't know if there were interests over there, but generally speaking, uh, okay, it's easy. With Turkish people, it's another kettle fish. So they started over there and think they will never have the guts to do that in a one-sided way there. They're just acting like this because Greece has been a very a country that has been impoverished by the um, belong to European Union and all this neoliberalist um, attitude that made Greece a much poorer country and they are doing that also to Italy. I know what I'm speaking about. So the problem is like Argentina, when you want to diverge divert the attention of people from the real problem and the real Greek problem is they should get out of the European Union they should um, side with us and with Spain and we should have a secession from the European Union we should get out of this cage but I know that most of, like in Italy for that matter most of the politicians are paid off most of politicians do not have at heart the interest of the Greek people or the Italian people for that matter. So they won't have an, an, an enemy uh, and that enemy now is Turkey. What better enemy that uh, a, a land has been always in the mind of Greek people as those barbarians, Mongols that have not our uh, culture. First of all, Greek people don't know shit about Turkey. They only know the bad things, for the most part. The only part of uh, Greece in the past that was not so anti-Turkish was the left. Now there's no left left in Greece because they are uh, imposing this liberal, neoliberal uh, politics that made Greece a poorer country and there are few people that stand their ground and admire those people but now what is permanent Turkey? 12 miles you've been having that uh, national um, waters for 100 years and now you want to impose this change just when there is there, there are other problems with Turkey it's like like a uh, blackmailing it's like we have the aid of Italy and France and maybe of 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 uh, uh, United States I admire Turkey for one reason I admire people who don't involve other people in their quarrels uh, I can tell okay I can also tell why because Turkey has the ability and the guts to fight the war I couldn't say the same for Greece they always scream scream Greek people is like the dog that barks Turkish people are like the dog that doesn't bark but if you get nearer it attacks you and it causes serious damage so the problem is Greek people want help from other countries if there are quarrels with Turkey that's their problem they haven't settled this in 100 years Cyprus problem they caused um, a worsening of that problem because during the dictatorship in Greece they wanted to annex Cyprus without having talks with Turkey because there was uh, an important, I think 20% maybe, a Turkish minority over there. And let's take into account that physically, geographically, Cyprus is much closer to Turkey than to Greece. But we know historically it was a Greek island. island. For some reason it was not annexed, annexed to Greece during the re revolution. But it, it um, for some reason it was under British rule so the problem is there was an important Turkish minority and we know and I know that a, a Greek dictatorship wouldn't have been 
uh, gentle towards Turkish minority. So, Turkish people in a very intelligent and also okay uh, opportunities way took exploit the the chance to the opportunity to take over one third more or less of the island. Is it is it right? I don't know. There's also two sides. Uh, the problem was caused by Greece. It was caused by Greece and Greek people who wanted to that thought that Turkey wouldn't have reacted. Now the same thing is going on. They think that Turkey has not the guts to react. I think that Turkey is buying its time. Turkish people, I think, that's my opinion, that's my impression. These are not facts. I said some facts, this is my impression. That the Turkish government are not, is not composed of stupid people. So, they don't go around asking for help. They want to win a battle without... Last time they asked for help in a war, they have to give up Cyprus because Great Britain helped and then they give... Um, it ended up being British and that's an, another big problem. So nobody helps you in a war and it doesn't want to get something back. Um, I'm sure that Italy and France want something back from these uh, contracts over oil and natural gas and whatever. And if Turkey gets help, you need to win your wars on your own. You saw that Greek got indebted in um, after the revolution and uh, it seems to me that Turkish people would have made a big mistake if they had entered the European Union and uh, what, as, uh, one thing I don't like about Turkish people is a majority of population that still think the European Union is heaven and these are I can tell this is a very stupid thing but, all in all, all things considered, they uh, didn't enter. Or maybe European, Greek didn't want Turkish inside the European Union. And not knowing that, they <laughs> made them a favor. Greek, Greece made a big favor to Turkey keeping Turkey outside the European Union. Um, that means the Turkey can act independently in the Aegean, mm -hmm. I think. At least more than Greece can. So that's my... Um, I think that Now, on the attack, from some point of view, is Greece. At least when it comes to um, waters, national waters, I forgot. The, the, um, when it comes to these drills, I really haven't delved into it. Because most of the information we have here is one-sided, is Greece. Do you know why? Because European Union and our media are completely, completely bought by the system. And I say, if I want you to hear what we call in Italian the other bell. And what I read in Turkish or I tried to translate from Turkish make perfect sense. Turkish people are not stupid people who, without any reason, want to drill 
uh, in the sea and want to don't want the Gre Greece people to have 12 mile and that's very understandable when it comes to that it, it goes back to the problem with Cyprus because it's near Cyprus and the thing it's very perfectly normal for a country that protects the interest of northern uh, part of Cyprus that they want uh, to I give an example if Greece and Cyprus exploit that they would do to the detriment of the Greek part so but they would never uh, giving money a third of the money to the Greek part will be tantamount to admitting that that is a country and they don't want to admit that um, and since you cannot protect a country um, that is okay, a puppet country, but we can tell the same for the Greek part. But everyone is puppet of the Turkey, particularly the Greek. But it's obviously that the Turkey, if uh, Cypriot, Cypriots, Cypriots, not Cypriots, Cypriots agreed to say, we don't want Greece, we don't want Turkey, we can uh, manage this on our own and divide the revenue from these uh, natural sources, Cyprus would be a much richer country. So those protectors are more like we saw we call them pimps you know uh, I forgot how to say I'm not speaking Greek <laughs> uh, I, I wanted to translate into Greek but I'm not speaking Greek so that is the problem but from my uh, natural psychological uh, aspect I mean I tend to give because I tend to side with the underdog. Oh, Turkey is not the underdog. I know it isn't. It has a big military power. But from the point of view of points of view, so to speak, pardon the pun, Turkish, the Turkish view side is the underdog. We are in the Western countries. We tend to dislike whatever is from the Middle East. Just the the word Middle East reminds of problems Syria or Iraq. We tend to dislike that. Uh, moreover, because it's a Muslim country, and every time I say I'm learning Turkish, uh, what about Muslims? What about what? I don't care. I don't believe in God. I don't believe in a Christian God. I don't believe in a Muslim God. So. Uh, I, I, I'm, it's not Saudi Arabia, I'm not forced I want to follow a religion if I were, I would never go to Turkey um, but it's not like this um, I think that uh, average, on average, Turkish people behave in a nicer way uh, Turkey, Greek people are nice people as long as you don't doubt their superiority, their moral superiority or their cultural superiority. The moment you don't feel like, okay, I treat you, you're a Greek, uh, I think you're as valuable, as worthy, and you cannot be valuable for people, but as worthy as a Spanish person, uh, uh, whatever we're all people and there's nothing in modern Greece that sets them apart from all other countries okay surely Italy has nothing to less than Greece we have a lot of huge culinary tra tradition we we have our moment that lasted a lot of glory we set 
Empire and the Second Empire were given them to Greece, the Eastern uh, Roman Empire. So we, from certain points of view, could be entitled to feel superior. But we don't. Italian feel superior only when it comes to cooking and cuisine. They're very snobby, snobbish, and snobbish. And I don't like this. I don't like anyone who, for some reason, thinks he has the high ground. Is better. Those are Turks. We are Greek. I Greeks. Greek. I don't give a shit. I don't give a shit. If you treat me right, if you respect me as a person, I'm alright with you. If I sense that you feel superior, you don't treat me um, on the same level, and every time you speak Greek, they want to know if I'm Greek. What the fuck? What the fuck? So is this a blood thing? Is it a racist thing? I don't give a shit. Okay? I give you an example. I don't like that uh, even in Italians. A person who speaks the language and knows the country is Greek. A person who is a Greek last name and doesn't speak a word of modern Greek and doesn't know shit about Greece but has only ancestry by Greeks is no more Greek than I am. Okay? So, Turkish people, surely they have flaws, or they are unreliable when it comes to learning a language or language exchange, as Greek are, so they have a lot in common from this point of view. They are unreliable. But one thing I like about real Turkish people, they always, uh, they don't think that their language is the most difficult language in the world, and for me, it's much more difficult to learn from my point of view of a speaker of Indo-European languages, Italian, English, and Greek. Uh, why Greek people overestimate the, 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 the hardship um, of their language is not that difficult. Okay, I've been learning Greek and for many, many years, and I absorbed it. But I can tell I didn't have the same problems at the beginning with Greek than I have with Turkish. I think at the end of the day, it will take more time, I will learn Turkish as well. But they tend to speak to you in Turkish. Greek people always use English. You know what, Greek people go get You know where you have to go. Uh, I think, uh, you know how many times they say, oh, you don't speak language Italians. We don't, you're not forced to speak languages because our language, we, is quite understandable. It's close to French, it's close to Spanish, it's close to Portuguese, half of English has the same uh, roots. And we are a big country, we have a lot of space to speak Italian, and we are five times as much as Greek people. It's par for the course, the we are not so... Um, it's not part of our culture to learn foreign language, but Italians, when they learn English, they are as good as Greek people, and even better. That's my experience. Greek people, for the most part, they speak a very bad English, for the most part, there are some people who speak very well. My speaking on average, Italians, Italians just don't speak English, for the most part. But when they do, I think they have a different attitude. I think uh, that's uh, goes for the f that's because sometimes Greek people are very opinionated and they overestimated their skills and things. Italians tend to do the opposite. Uh, Greek, uh, another thing, Greek people are so full of themselves, but you know, for some reason they don't care about foreign learning their language. And that's so stupid. Greek, Turkish people have a big cultural center in Rome. 
I cannot say the same for Greece. So, I think Greek people should focus on first fighting the right enemy or adversary, which is basically European Union, Germany, Holland and Austria. I think that the average German person has a lot more animosity towards Greece than the average Turkish person. <laughs> Turkish people don't have the same amount of bad blood towards Greek people. Greek people always, you know, they can hold grudges forever. That's not good, neither for countries nor for people, okay? I think the last time the Greek Cyprus there was a referendum to be united to get into the European Union, the ones who voted no were the Greek part. You cannot have talks with the enemy if you're not ready to give up something. That's the only essence of talks. The same thing the Greek people, they just want to have Turkish people back off. The, the idea is we have to the belligerent, the country, this enemy, this country causes problems. They're dissing the adversary. And then they say, oh, but they don't want to make peace with us. Yes, they try to do this with a real person. Fucking off, telling he's inferior, making, treat them like shit. And then you start to want to agree with him with, over something. It cannot happen like that. Even if you think that the other person is a piece of shit, you don't say that. It's called diplomacy. Okay? You cannot have every single, for every day, for the most part, have Turkish proclitikotika. Proclitikotika. Provo provocativeness. I don't know how to do it. Uh, aggressiveness, let's put it like this. Every time, it's always aggressiveness. There's no, even for a split second, I know it's Turkish news, it's Greek news, but for a second, put yourself in your, in some other people's shoes, in your enemy's shoes. Try to see the Turkish point and then. <clears throat> No, never. That's why I don't side with Greece. When I see a lot of Greek people insulting in a blatant way, that happens only in the parliament, they have to um, send them off. One, ex one member of the Greek they call their like they are like dogs or something something like this. That's not acceptable. That's my point of view. So that's why I'm not. And I several times upload these videos and I get all sort of dislikes from Greek people and they are not in my channel anymore. You know what? I always express my opinion. I know as a Westerner uh, I'm not supposed to side with Turkey and I really don't side with Turkey 100%. I mean when Turkish people, there are some Turkish people, Turkish Turks who say, oh, we, nobody touches the Greek islands. These are Greek islands. And there's no way they can become Turkish. And if Turkish people land on a Greek island, even to Castellorosos, Castellorosos, in Italian, I would say no, but from the same token, I would say no Greek people 
I mean, I said it would. They tried to get back. It was one a year ago. But it was. I think it was so wrong, and they pay a high price for the big mistake. And they want to help from Italy or from France, or something like that. And they didn't get any help. And they were routed. And now it's going to happen the same thing. Greece has not the money nor the military force or the manpower to wage a real war against Turkey. It's brinksmanship. But can degenerate the get in your it can become a real war. Sometimes war just is an escalation. Are Greek people ready to fight war over territorial waters? This has been going on for 100 years. You can, you know, be patient. When you will get back your children and your grandchildren in body bags, you don't give a shit about territorial waters. And I can assure you, Turkish people are ready to wage war over that. And even if NATO is involved, how can you stop a war with another war? It doesn't make any sense. So leave, don't stir shit, because Greece, as every time, in the past 100 years, every time Greece messed with Turkey, lost. They lost in the war 1919, 1921, it was there called the Mikrasetiki Sophie. they started this. They started shit. They started shit in Cyprus with wanting to annex Cyprus, and they're starting shit now. Haven't you learned a fucking lesson? I don't think that it, uh, Greece should be like constantly in fear with Turkey. But it doesn't seem to me that Turkey wants. If you want, let Turkey be to be, let Turkey be on the wrong side. I can understand if Turkey wants some Greek territory, that shouldn't be, shouldn't happen. And Greece has every right to fight back. But changing the treaty that assure peace for one hundred years. It's not a good idea. Greeks should have stood their feet when they discussed the memorandum with the European Union. A country that hasn't got the guts to stand for, even to back their referendum, that Greek people voted against. Don't tell me they can wage war against Turkey, because they will never do that, unless have the Italian, although with Italian and French help, it's not sure you can win Turkey. Because, tell you that, how long will this help last? It's Italian and French people, oh, they will help you. As long as there's no war, we can tell that we can help you. Then where is a real war, they can back off. And, and Greece will be alone again against Turkey. And what, you know what? Once you wage a war and the other person, the other country wins a war, Greek can actually lose territory. They will get back some islands, and the Greek people have to f fly, have to escape. To run off like it happened before. 
only that before it was on on real Turkish soil, and this time Turkish. I I I wouldn't like to see that, but if they make the big mistake to think that a war against Turkey can be positive for Greece, they will have dire, dire consequences. That's my opinion, it's a 40 minute uh, video, but I think that I can't say things knowing Greek people. I can't not say the same thing from, for Turkish people. I'm learning Turkish, I have a lot of Turkish books here. This is a book to learn Turkish. This is a dictionary. Okay. It seems to me that Turkish people don't have the same bad feelings towards Greece, for the most part. For the most part. Generally speaking. Oh, you can find a great Greek person who loves Turkey. Oh, you can find a lot of Turkish people who dislike Greece. All in all, this dislike and hating is more on the Greek side than on the Turkish side. For several reasons, then I'm not. I, it's true. I can upload another video on why Greek people, when they hear the word Turkey in Turkish, they have an immediate, for the most part, feeling of eh, dislike. Okay, that's all, folks, and. That's my two cents. Actually, that's my fifty dollar because I've been spending a lot. But that they give me is like my two cents.